Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for right around the 7th, okay? Ooh, I just cut it right to the Emperor. And the Knight of Swords reversed. So the Emperor is take charge kind of guy, right? This is a boss, a leader, um, person in a position of authority, making a decision based on the hard facts. So this is a very decisive uh, moment. Somebody is making a big decision. Um, Knight of Swords reverse could be a shock. This could be a shock. It could be extremely sudden. It could be a sudden departure. It could also be a sudden arrival. Um, getting out quick. Somebody may be getting out quick. Getting out of a situation very, very quick. There could be some sort of abuse. Maybe mental abuse, verbal abuse. Could be a fight. Could be an altercation. Um, we had, it was probably, it could be definitely be an abusive situation. There could also be a, a battle, war even, you know. Um, this is like a king that is in the position of authority, that is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. Um, the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is untrustworthy though. They could be dealing with an untrustworthy individual that doesn't tell the truth. Um, this is very aggressive. The Knight of Swords is, is a per in reverse is somebody that is extremely aggressive, assertive. Um, and this could be a, a judge even. This is a judge or a ruler or somebody that has the authority to make some sort of decision. Something is going to happen very suddenly with the Knight of Swords reverse. Extremely fast. Extremely fast. Something's happening extremely fast. Battle ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. I think it's a shock. It's a surprise of some sort. Seven of Cups just fell out of the deck. Now the Seven of Cups is about options, choices, confusion. Somebody's been thinking about their options. They have multiple options. They've been considering the options. So that's what's going on. So like thinking about it, thinking about what is the best choice. There's this is a card of consequences. You know, what you own owns you. So choose wisely. So somebody has been thinking about their choices and you know if they stay where they're at what could happen if they leave what could happen you know that kind of thing definitely struggling you know torn in two different directions we do have somebody here that is torn um, they're hearing all the different kinds of things within their mind you know maybe even for some from some other people as well I feel like we have somebody here that is being torn between two options particularly they do have some divided loyalty. They're caught in the middle. They are having a hard time accepting the truth, avoiding the truth, blocking their emotions. This is a painful, stressful decision. It is definitely a decision. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Emperor. Absolutely a choice. So somebody's in the... Oh, we got another one just flew out. Ten of Swords. This is the death of a situation. It is the end. This is a collapse, it's a breakdown. This is the death of a situation. So this is like giving up. It's over, it's over. There's been a lot of pain, there's been a lot of suffering. This is extremely depressing. I'll take the old glasses off. This has definitely reached the end. It is. This is rock bottom. Can't do it anymore. This is the end. This is definitely the end. Somebody is making a choice. They've reached a point where there's no return. It's like they can't. They've reached. This is a, so overwhelming. It's like I just I don't even want to be here anymore. This is like distraught. I feel like we have somebody here that is distraught. 
you know, maybe they've been examining their choices or they've been examining their previous choices, you know, and now they've reached a point where it's almost like, I can't believe that I, I made that choice or I can't believe that I did this. It's, it's almost, and I feel like it's like blaming, self-blame, self-blame, blaming themselves for the poor choices that they made, you know. Oh my God, this is truly, oh my God. Nine of Swords, Ex oh my God, I can't believe it. This is extreme regrets. We do have somebody here that has some regrets. You know, they're like, oh my God, there, there's a lot of depression here, anxiety. What am I gonna do now? Somebody may have gotten some sort of epiphany, maybe in the middle of the night, you know, or they've been haunted, you know, they've been haunted by their own mind, haunted by their own thoughts. Maybe some truth has been revealed, you know? And there's a lot of suffering here. Somebody has been suffering over a betrayal because of their own choices. I feel like we have somebody here that is regretting the choices that they made. You know, and, and now it's like, now what do I do? Now what do I do? I've reached this low, 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 low point in my life, you know? And we have somebody here that is really struggling with taking charge because of that emperor. This person has not been in any type of hurry to make a move, probably because they were planning or they were going through some sort of uh, an awakening, but it's a dark night of the soul moment or time period, time period. Um, but it's the end of a situation. There's complacency here, depression not happy at all oh my god what am i gonna do now what am i gonna do now what am i gonna do we may also have somebody here that is waking up you know and realizing something they're realizing that something is over it's dead that's what this is it's like waking up because it's like after a night's sleep maybe something has come to them in their dreams or you know, they got an epiphany when they woke up or something has happened in the middle of the night, you know, and it's over. It's like they wake up and it's dead because the den of swords is the death of a situation. They realize, they realize something about, you know, something. Maybe they realize the truth about their choices or their, oh, jeez, they keep on falling right out, huh? Four of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed is trouble in paradise, right? Wish I wasn't here. Wish I was anywhere but here. This is arguments. It's, it's family arguments. It's family discord. It's uh, not happy with a living situation. Wanting to move. Not fitting in. Temporary home. Uh, temporary situation. Disaster. Lack of support. Lack of support or success. Um, party is over uh messy 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 this could be a sad farewell the four of wands reversed um we have somebody here this, this could be like a a cancellation of an engagement or um a proposal a withdrawn proposal or you know a, a separation from a commitment um breaking up moving out of the home there's been some sort of neglect. I feel like there's uprooting here. I feel like we have somebody here that, that got themselves into a foundation and, you know, they've reached a point where, oh my God, that was such a poor choice. It was such a poor choice. Now what? Now how do I get out of it? What am I going to do? You know, this has reached a point of, of no return. How? What, oh my God. Oh my God. This is such a poor choice. I just, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. That's what this is. I don't want to be here. I feel like, I also feel like we have somebody here that is calling something off. You know, I don't know if there was any, I think I already said it, an engagement or a proposal or a marriage or a party. You know, it's getting called off. Um, not interested. I'm not in, or it could be a commitment period. You know, I'm not interested in this commitment. could be the end of a commitment put it that way ten of swords mirroring the four of wands reversed this is not happiness this is not what i asked for this is not bringing me happiness somebody's going to be uprooting
they've been tied to a situation that has caused them a lot of mental turmoil and they've reached a point of complete exhaustion. Knight of Cups on the bottom. So there may be a lover here. Somebody may have another lover. Or they may have another opportunity for love. Or they could just be expressing their feelings or following their heart. Following their intuition. Somebody may also be falling in love with somebody else. I mean, you just got to be honest here. Seven of Cups is options, choices. You know, there could be a, a love connection here when somebody has been in a commitment that where there's a dead, you know, it's dead, dead end commitment. There is trouble in paradise here. I feel like somebody put on put on an act. They put on an act with their with their current situation and it's over. The act is up. Okay. Ooh, Queen of Cups could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right next to that Ten of Swords. Exploring options. Ten of Swords and Seven of Cups. Feelings. There's gonna be feelings, a flood of emotion. The end. Emotions, exploring options, confusion, fantasy. Seven of Cups is confusion. It's illusion. It's fantasy. Somebody's been in fantasy. They've been in a state of illusion. They've been in denial with the Two of Swords that we saw. Somebody was in denial. They were just, they were just too emotional. They were all in their feelings. They weren't being logical. There's no logic here. There's no practicality. It's all about emotions. Somebody let their emotions drive instead of their head. And the emperor is about using your head. Use your head. Use your head. It's time to get, you know, realistic and practical and accept responsibility. There definitely could be a sudden departure. Now we get the Knight of Swords on the bottom again in reverse. There is somebody here that is very insincere. They are untrustworthy. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. This is somebody that, I don't know if they're out of control. There could be a major disruption. We may, definitely with the Knight of Swords reverse, this person could be acting in an assertive manner. Maybe they're angry or they're upset or something like that. Somebody is going to be expressing something. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There is something, there's some sort of betrayal here. Um, I feel like somebody's been exploring their options. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Ace of Wands reversed. That's something going south, not coming to fruition or uh, something not growing, a lack of growth, lack of emotional growth. You have a lack of emotion, lack of passion, no passion, no desire. Um, the spark going out, somebody's spark, their drive, their desire. It's like this is, there's no spark, there's no desire to be here. There's no desire to be in this commitment. This is realizing somebody's intuition is or their, their dreams or they're getting the message from somewhere that you know this is this isn't what they asked for it's like this isn't there's no spark there's no attraction there's no desire this is like going south something is going south and i think it's going really 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 fast we also have somebody here that i think that i think i mentioned it yesterday i feel like we have somebody here that is um like I said, don't take any drinks from anybody. This person, prepare, again, prepare, looks to be preparing drinks. This, in it. No. Don't drink anything anybody gives to you. Anyhow, nine of swords, especially if you're an emperor, 
Nine of Swords. Putting on an act. Somebody's putting on an act. They may act distraught over an ending, but I don't think they really are. Queen of Swords reversed. Unbelievable. Yeah. Completely different deck. I did a reading earlier today for another sign. This reading is very similar. Queen of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that is going to be called out. They are going to be called out. They're doing something vindictive. We have somebody here that is doing something vindictive. This could be like, I don't know, this is, could be a wicked stepmother or, you know, an ex or a girlfriend or somebody that is malicious. There is definitely somebody here that is malicious. They, they don't want this commitment to last. So it's like they're, they're mixing something up. They're trying to, they're trying to control a situation. Oh my God. This is, oh my God. Tower reverse. Now the tower reverse is a permanent loss. It is. This is extremes. This is a fight. It is a painful change that you never saw coming. This could be health problems. We may have some chronic health problems here. We may even have somebody here that is mentally in, unbalanced. This person is trying to control and manipulate a situation. I feel like we have a feminine energy here that is doing something illegal. Just being honest. Or something that is not just... This person is delusional. There is delusional here. They're suffering. They're suffering. And they don't want to suffer. They don't want to suffer anymore. Interesting. So it's like revenge. This is some sort of act of revenge. This person is distraught. We have a distraught individual who it's almost like this person wants to uh, break up or they want to break up or they want a separation or they want to cause trouble. Somebody is going to be trying to cause some trouble. Just saying. Or they want or they're trying to act something out. This is somebody that is being unlawful. They're being untruthful. They're not acting with integrity. They're acting on their emotions. They're acting on their feelings. They don't care who they hurt. Massive disruption, unavoidable change. Somebody has been avoiding disruption up until now. I feel like there's going to be a massive fight or something is going to happen that is going to force somebody out. It's going to force somebody out of this false commitment, this false foundation. There's force here. This is a permanent loss. We have somebody here that wants to explore their other options. It feels like they've been dealing with somebody that, I don't know, isn't going anywhere. So they're going to, they're going to pick it up. You know, they're going to, they're going to step it into high gear. That would be the Knight of Swords reverse, stepping it into high gear, doing something. And this is not something good. Okay. The Knight of Swords reversed. It's not. This is somebody that is insincere, that is looking for a fight that, has mental health issues, that is angry, that is upset, that is dangerous, that, that is uh, untrustworthy. We have an untrustworthy individual here that cannot be trusted, that is doing something for their own benefit. It's a woman. It is a woman.
she wasn't chosen or something or she's she wants freedom there's something to do with freedom here somebody wants freedom or they were rejected it could go either way we have somebody here that is acting in a vindictive nature and it's because something they've been weighed down and something isn't going the way that they wanted it to go with the ace of wands reverse it just isn't it hasn't been you know dashed expectations it didn't it, it hasn't happened you know I feel like we have somebody here that's been confused, they've been delusional, they've been, maybe they've been obsessed. Definitely really acting on their feelings. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings. Swords reverse, that's like harsh, harsh. Doesn't care, unforgiving. This person doesn't care. Very, very unforgiving. I feel like it's a, I don't know who this person is, like a stepmother or a wicked stepmother or a mother-in-law or an ex could be an ex-wife, could be a girlfriend. This is somebody that is, uh, could just be an ex. This is somebody that is unforgiving, miserable. Wants to be alone. Chooses, to, wants to be alone. This person wants to be alone. Or they, or they don't want to be alone. It could go either way. I feel like this person wants to be alone. It's like they, I don't know. They want control. What is this Queen of Swords reversed? King of Swords reversed. Oh my God. So this partnership is not seeing eye to eye. Right next, okay, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, reversed. Okay, it goes like this. It's like that on the table. So this is a commitment that is not on the same page. There is definitely trouble in paradise. This is no longer a good match. These people are not seeing eye to eye. They are fighting. We had the tower. Okay, there's no success. Okay, it's not as good as they expected. They're not fitting in with each other. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no compatibility anymore. There may have been at the beginning, but there's too many power struggles. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a this is a battle. This is a war. This is a war zone. This is seriously a serious battle. Get prepared to fight. You think about the emperor, be ready. Be ready to fight. Okay, because a fight is coming. This is Mars energy, obviously. That's what it looks like to me. King of Swords. This is brutal. It is brutal. A brutal separation of some sort. Good luck. <laughs>